Yeah, truly, as you say, the young people have a lot of challenges that they encounter with. I mean, if, if, if we think on the times when we were young, not that we are that old, but when yeah. we were younger, there wasn't such a lot of pressure and exposure uh, on young people as there no. is now. Yes, that is why I'm really comforted when I visit Naisna to, to find a site like this Love Life uh, Center, Center yeah. which has got programs focusing on young people. You are correct. Maybe we didn't have these issues when we were young, uh, at our ages, but now we need to, to notice the society that is, we are getting these challenges. They are ever there, mm. and where do we come in terms of assisting them? So the programs like this one that are created by Love Life are very important because they are actually having young stars in those areas, talking the language of young people, yeah. speaking to young people, what can we assist you? And some of them have also got experiences of them having had misfortunes in their yeah. youth. Yeah. Therefore, they can be able to relate their stories, their experiences, and they can assist quite a lot of other young people when they talk. Mm. You've been here since yesterday, if, uh, if I'm correct. Yes. Uh, what were some of the things, or did you only uh, overnight and then it started this morning, or was it what was uh, what is your program for being here? Last yesterday was to be able to see and plan with the municipality how the day was going to go and mm. how it was going to flow, and speaking to councillors, speaking to mayors, and then getting parents to be ready to come and join with us here because it's also important for some of us who are parents to also listen to the young people. So it was mainly yesterday mobilizing those communities that would like to be here present. The main event is today, having started this morning with a whole host of other issues, visiting the clinic, listening to the people there, listening to their challenges, and also doing aerobics. I didn't see you there. We have been doing a bit of, of dancing and jiving there, which is a good yeah, part we of the healthy lifestyle. The cables, but it was, it's actually wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so you're full of energy already and uh, ready for this day and to convey the energy to the young people. We try. We really do try. Because we want to give the young people a space. Yeah. I mean, just last week, we, we launched at the Development Field a very important program or a national program focusing on HIV prevention on young people. Mm, mm. What do we do? What can we assist them with? We as health have resources, but then it's not good enough if our young people can't access those resources in our clinics. That is why I'm happy that this clinic here uh, nice now daycare center yeah. has opened up a program called the youth zone ah. a youth zone is wow. to find at least a nurse mm. in a facility who speaks the language of young, people, the young people supporting them not judging them giving them the best of the best for their own because they need those opportunities they need to be supported but coming up to here to this love life center there are also additional skills that mm. we give them empower them to really be, become younger people who are employable elsewhere because of the skills that they give them. Yeah, yeah. and to help them to survive in a, in a world which is not always a, a, a conducive world. Uh, what would be your message today that you want to bring, especially? You say you're here to listen to the young people, but you're obviously also here to give a message to them. I've listened to them, mm. and I must give a response. Mm. Uh, time of that they are going to, I'm, I'm going to be able to say to them, look, uh, our motto as a Department of Health is that we need to have a long and a healthy life mm. for, any, for all our citizens. All us, yes. We are here as just an enabling department mm. to say at the age of 15, I don't want to make anybody pregnant. I don't want to fall pregnant as yet. What do I do? Yeah. We are going to be providing you not the whole of today, but areas, pointers where you need to get help. I want to avoid drugs. What must I do? Yeah. Or oh, already I'm in drugs, I want to get out of drugs, uh, yeah. what do we do? Wow. So those are sort of empowerment, but at least it rests with a young person. A young person must be able to say, I want to live a quality life. Yeah. Where do I get access and opportunities to make that life quality? Mm. And that's where we come in. So it will be more about saying to them, we don't judge them, we say, yes, I'm 17 years old, I have not finished my metric, I don't want to fall pregnant as yet, but I already got a girlfriend yeah. or a boyfriend. Where do I go? How mm. do I assess mm. me? So we come into that space. Yeah, so we'll yeah. be talking about those access yeah, opportunities. Yeah. So, yeah. so working against things like, as you say, early pregnancies, STDs, um, Absolutely. HIV, AIDS, uh, which is unfortunately real challenges that our youth are facing today. So true. And I think the good thing is, as you say, you are an enabling department where you create the environment where people can actually get the information and be out. Yeah. Um, the fact that the clinic is situated next to the youth center, you think that's a very positive thing? Powerful. Because we have been to the clinic, 
the clinic is really overflowing, too many patients coming in for this, but we would like to get these young people in a very secluded, confidential space mm. to be able to talk about their challenges and problems. So this center, Love Life Center, just walking distance from the clinic, is already providing that resource, yeah, yeah. that space, so when young people can just be able to confidentially speak to one nurse in a very, con I mean, confined space, and that's going very far in terms of yeah. making them to be free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, you're going to go back into the function and you will uh, bring the message to the young people. And uh, as you say, this doesn't stop here today it doesn't stop here today i've listened to some of their problems we are not going to solve all of them all the time but the main issue is that i've been to nice now mm. i've listened to some young a sample of young people not all of them so it is probably the same challenge that we have mm. countrywide so we are therefore correct to come to places like this listen to them first then respond and continuously being there to monitor and support them but i would like to come back next year and mm. hear that if we are 15 pre teenage pregnancies that got pregnant this year, there should be two next year. And the other year, there should be zero. Because now we are empowering them and showing them where to go for this, that, and the other. So all of it is there. So it's just important that the young people make the right choices. Absolutely. And we as parents try not to be judgmental mm. and give them support. Yeah. Ask other parents around say, hey, I'm having a difficulty with my child, this and that. Can you assist to talk to my child? That child, so that rather than to have fights and difficulties in families, not speaking to each other, ask our parents, ask yeah, other people yeah. in the community to assist. Support the spirit of Ubuntu. I'm a person through you Thank as you another sir. person, and we help each other to survive. Absolutely. Uh, Deputy Minister Loma, it was wonderful being here Absolutely. with you, and thank you so much. Thank you for visiting our area. Thank you for visiting Naisna, and as you say, may the footsteps that you give here today mm -hmm. be lasting footsteps mm -hmm. and that we can really see the change in our young people. That was it, this Deputy Minister of Yaz, um, Deputy Minister Tlomo. All of the best, sir. Thank you for coming around. Thank you so much, my brother, for the opportunity of giving me to speak to you. Because through you, I've spoken to 5,000 or even more oh, yeah. of our citizens in and around the country. Yeah, thank you, thank you sir. God bless you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bless you. Bye-bye. Okay.